Hello, Dr. Bridget here with another prescription for success. And today I'm going to talk about why we people please. Let's talk about why we people please. It's a really common sort of thing that people often come and see me with. And, you know, I, I just like to talk to you about maybe the consequences of people pleasing. So if these are people and you're sort of rescuing people or you're wanting attention, can't get this one off, wanting attention from people, is that actually what you're doing when you're people pleasing? Because if you people please, other people aren't really going to know who you are um, as a person, are they? They're just going to see what you put out there. It's going to have an effect on you um, mentally and physically. So we all know that negative emotions, um, which are probably what are behind people pleasing, have an effect on our body. So if we're not sort of showing up as ourselves or who we want to be, and we've got a lot of negative chatter going on in our head, and we're, the consequence of that is that we um, people please, then that's not very good for your cells from a physiological point of view, and certainly not very good on the mental health point of view for self-esteem, confidence, and knowing that you're worth it. Um, another consequence of people pleasing is you may not get your goals because you're so busy helping everyone else get their goals that you know you don't get your own and you sit around and watch people going oh they're doing this and that and how about me and but you only do that on an internal level you don't ever say that uh, maybe people will what we call walk all over you and you end up feeling a bit used because after all people know that you're kind and helpful and they know that you're the sort of person that will uh, will actually help them uh, and that's fine it depends on what your motivations for doing that are and it depends on what effect it has on you as a person being you. So causes maybe come from adverse childhood events, so maybe things happened when you were little. Um, you know, sometimes people are adopted and feel abandoned, sometimes people are fostered out, sometimes they're bullied, sometimes they have um, parents that are all about the parents rather than the children and and they're not really noticed so you know their whole thing is let either let me get noticed so I'll do whatever it takes to be noticed or maybe if there's some violence or something in, in, in their early childhood they just want to hide and when they do come out then they want to make sure that people are happy with what they're doing in case they you know, to avoid the violence in the future, whether that's verbal or physical. Um, not valuing yourself um, is, is a common cause, and that's come from somewhere, and if that's you, you'll know where that is. Um, wanting external validation, so you don't really know that you're, you're good enough internally yourself. You've got to ask everyone else. So you people please and you get their views and then you take on those views and you don't really go with what is right for you. And maybe it's just simply a worry that people won't like you and that you're not going to be okay on your own. Um, I've certainly done a, a bit of that in the past. I'm not really sure where that's come from, but it's certainly something that I've done. So how can we sort it out? So getting rid of the negative emotions and limiting beliefs that you're not worthy um, not good enough, uh, can't put yourself first, those sort of negative beliefs that will have an effect on your results. Um, do some timeline therapy which gets rid of all the major negative emotions like anger, sadness, fear, hurt and guilt um, along with the negative beliefs that go with that. Set some goals, um, you know, set some boundaries, decide, you know, if someone wants you to do something, ask yourself do I have time to do that? Is it good for me? Um, what effect will it have on me getting my goals or showing up as myself? Um, and, and look for some joy for yourself and that will be different to other people's joy. And in order to do those things you need to have some boundaries and you need to change your behaviour of people please as pleasing or when I say need it would be useful to change your behaviour of people pleasing so that you can do what you want. So if you're having any trouble with that, um, any of those things, and you want to chat, 
then just give me a shout. Um, also on our NLP courses we sort all this sort of thinking out so if you want to um, have the skills to be able to do that with other people whether that's a team, um, whether it's as a coach, um, you know whether you just want to interact with other people differently have a think about a course as well so one-to-one -one or a course. So speak soon, take care, see you next week, bye.